Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Attitudes with Andy. Thank you so much for being here. It is honestly always an honour and a privilege to have you listening. Today, if you're watching, we have a bit of a fun mic set up and I feel like a public speaker, so I just thought, you know, why not? Why not have a handheld microphone? So I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week today. I don't mean to freak you out, but it is 13 weeks till the end of 2023. Is that not freaky? Because for me, I'm like, what? What? The year has just flown by. It's zoomed. I get when old people are like, ah, the time flies. I'm feeling old at 24. (laughs) But like, seriously, it's 13 weeks till the end of the year. So I wanted to talk about that because uh, maybe we haven't achieved our goals yet or done our uh, New Year's resolution and all of that. And we're not here to shame. We're not here to blame. We're here just to just to analyze a few things. So first of all, I'd like to share something, which is at the beginning of this year, I got to help out at a business retreat. And on the business retreat, we had to write a letter to ourselves at the end of the year with what we want to have accomplished, who we want to be, how we want to feel. And we wrote these letters and then we had to put them in a letter and like an envelope, sorry. And then we had to write our address on it and they're going to send it to us at the end of the year. Okay. Which is um, pretty soon. So I'm going to receive this letter and I'm going to open this letter that ambitious January, 2023 Andy wrote. Okay. Um, and so that kind of motivates me to get everything together because I'm like oh my god I need to open that letter and be like yes I did that yes I did that the problem is I can't really remember what I wrote but anyway um the reason I'm telling you this is because I think it's really nice when we set goals and want to hit them for ourselves and not for anybody else not for clout not for ego or anything like that so I think it's really nice I'm like oh my gosh let's go hard till the end of the year because like I really want to make myself proud when I open that letter and even if some of it I haven't achieved I'll know that like I put my best foot forward and I really gave it a hot crack so yeah that thanks for listening to my story so if you're listening to this and you're like oh I know that I've not really been on track to get to where I want to go um, or the goals that I set, that's all G, that's all G. So I reckon we can put in a little system in place that we can all do till the end of the year and going onwards so that we can enter the new year having some really solid habits, knowing where we want to go and knowing what our year wants to look like because nothing feels more alpha than starting the year and everyone's like, oh, my New Year's resolution is to exercise four times a week or do this and you're like "Mm, yeah I'm already doing that okay and also the biggest flex is going to the gym in December (laughs) because maybe not on the Gold Coast because everyone's already fit and healthy but everywhere else I've noticed whenever it hits December and you're at the gym there's like barely anyone there and let me tell you it feels pretty alpha you're like yeah I'm better than everyone else (laughs) I mean, I'm not saying that we should think we're better, but like, come on, it's a bit of a subtle flex. It's like when you wake up at like 4am or before the sun comes up and you're literally like, I have one. I am better than everyone else. So I'm going to suggest some things that you might want to implement into your life. Take what well, take what sits well, leave what doesn't. Um, but some of the things I'm focusing on is one, my sleep, because I was looking back on my journals and I've noticed that sleep is something I've constantly journaled about being like, I'm tired. I'm not getting enough sleep. And yes, I've tried here and there, but like I haven't tried, tried, you know what I mean? I've just kind of complained about it and being a little victim. So no more of that. I know that the thing that affects my mood the most ever is sleep. So I've been really prioritizing that and I've been very fortunate that I've been working from home a lot recently, especially I've been weak I've been weak the last sick. I've been sick the last week. And so what I've been doing is I've been doing my winding down at night time, having my magnesium, having screen free time, journaling, reading uh um like a fun book so that my mind can relax 
And then what I've been doing is I haven't been setting an alarm in the morning so that I can just wake up when my body needs to wake up. And I think last night I had nine or 10 hours of sleep. So clearly my body needed it. So that's what I've been doing. I've also been going for daily ocean swims, which I, you know, I think is kind of like a cold plunge, which is good because like, I feel like if you live so close to the ocean, you can just like take it for granted. So I've been going doing that. And then I think just getting into the habit of doing exercise every single day. And I don't mean like hardcore like workouts or anything like that. If you're going for like a half an hour or an hour walk every day, splendid, splendid. You're getting into the habit of doing movement every single day. So I think what we need to do is we need to pick things that are achievable. Not like, oh, I'm going to do eight hours of work and I'm going to do an hour workout every single day and I'm going to eat clean 24 seven. It's like, can we just pick realistic things? And then we're actually going to be able to stick to them. Um, Other things I've been doing is I've been really focusing on my diet. I usually do eat pretty good, but there was a bit there where I was like, "Mm, there's not many vegetables or salad happening here. So I've been actively just adding in more fiber food and I've been feeling fantastic. I have been work uh, really focusing on my focus. And so setting periods of time during the day where I'm like, right, we're going hard for these two hours. You do not do anything else. We are you know, muting and silencing our phone and we're just focusing on the task at hand because I think so many times we multitask and we think, oh my God, I can multitask. No, you can't. Ladies, I'm still speaking to you. You can't multitask, okay? Um, So that has been really, really helpful because then I've been able to take action on the things that I really do want to be taking action on. Another thing recently is I've been asking myself in situations when I need to make decisions or when I'm not making decisions that I should be making a decision because no decision is still a decision, is I've been saying, Andy, you say you value X, Y, and Z, but are you showing up? in that area you know there was um a situation that happened and it was almost like I was choosing between my family and a different person and I said Andy you say you value your family so act like it and I was like right right yes you're right so I think just like staying in check with your values and making sure you're actually living in alignment with it because it's very easy to just talk the talk but are we walking the walk Another thing I've been really, really, really (laughs) trying to do, and I've actually spoken about it a few times on my Instagram, is being off Instagram. And so before I used to have this belief, oh, I need to be on Instagram to promote my podcast. And like, if I'm off Instagram, then people won't listen and people won't hear about it. What a limiting belief that was. So I used to post like five days a week and be there on there five days a week and have the weekends off. Now I post three days a week on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And when I post, I obviously have to have the app downloaded. Like I literally re-download it every Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, And then I'll have the app literally on my phone for a few hours, maybe the whole day if I want to show you guys what I've been up to. But I don't usually last the whole day with it on my phone because I just get so distracted. Like, I will admit, I get stuck in those goddamn scroll holes. The algorithm knows me too well. They'll just show me dog videos and then I'm stuck. (laughs) Um, And so that's been working so, so well is just posting, replying to some messages, um, giving you guys a bit of an update or some of my random Andy thoughts and then just yeeting and deleting the app. And that has been so, so awesome. And my friends have been starting to pick up on it and it's really beautiful because they'll message me like if there's group chats on Instagram, what is with that? Why are we doing that? Anyway, it's a thing now. Um, if there's group chats on Instagram and it's like for an event or stuff, my friends will message me or like text me and be like, hey, you just let you know this is happening. So I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I think like let's all have some time off social media. Like what is the point anyway? Like I'm I'm on there to, sp- to spread good vibes and, and empower people. But then if I'm then stuck in scroll holes and not doing shit that I need to be doing to kind of, achieve that then what's the point you know what I mean so could be something you want to look into and it's a good balance because then you're not completely off it but you can still have time away and let me tell you you get a lot more done and your mind feels so much more free and creative another thing I have been implementing is long walks so I was listening to a podcast and they actually said that long walks is really normal that it like calms you down, helps you rethink and like you're really creative. 
like I had my best ideas when I'm on my long walks, but they said that humans have been walking like for generations and they can see like they've got footprints, the oldest footprints they found, like this person walked miles and miles every day or something like that. That was really bad facts. So basically what I'm trying to say is we're made to walk and that's why it feels so relaxing and calming. And so if you can implement a walk a day or every second day, um, you'll be amazed at how amazing you feel. Uh, the next thing I've been focusing on is focusing on the people who feel so easy to be with, re-energize you, um, help better yourself and all of that. And so I've been really making an effort with those friendships and it obviously feels so, so good. If you guys have kind of been following along on my journey, um, I've definitely gone through periods of time where I've been very, very, very intense and just sitting on my computer for like 10 or 12 hours a day and doing work and and stuff like that. And now I've really flipped a switch and I've, um, I still do work and podcasting and all of that, but I just have a lot more balance in my life and... Uh, I'm grateful for that hardcore time, but I'm grateful for all my time now. And so I've been really prioritizing my friendships and my relationships and, and all of that. It's uh, very, very special. And I think that is everything that I have been working on. So in summary, if there are things that you guys want to achieve by the end of the year, look at them, say, what are the actionable things I can do each day to get a little bit closer and I think one day you might do a shit ton towards your goal and the next day you might do literally like the most minor thing but in my mind I say have I made a positive contribution to my goal today even if it's the smallest thing because then you're just getting into the habit of doing a little bit of it every single day and that really really compounds so always tell yourself a little bit of something is better than a whole lot of nothing and the last bit I just want to say is like if you want to be like exercising every day and eating healthy food and and all of that like you don't want that to just be something that you do for January till November and then the whole of December you just yeet and you're just like eating tons of food and just partying lots for Christmas which like obviously is a vibe go do that but I think that if you can't sustain something year round then it's then it's not why are you doing it you know what I mean it's like yeah maybe in December your exercises might not be as hardcore and you might not be going to the gym as much but can you go for a walk every day or just something little yeah you might be eating a tiny bit more food but can you just make sure you still have like a few veggies and salads here and there you know what I mean like I think we should really focus on maintainability instead of everything being perfect and you going all or nothing because all or nothing is the biggest freaking cop out because then when you mess up you're like I'll just start again Monday I think the strong people are the ones who will be going really well and then they'll hop off the bandwagon for a day or a week or maybe sometimes even a month and then they go right that happened I'm gonna get back on I think that takes a lot of strength and honesty and so if you've had a few days or a week off or the whole year off it's fine just start now there's no better time to start than now and think man if I just continually did these habits for a whole year imagine where I'll be and imagine how I'll feel so be kind to yourself and just do choose the actionable small things every day we really overcomplicate things don't we <laughs> so keep it simple kiss keep it simple stupid that's what I tell myself all the time anyway thank you so much for listening I love you and I hope you have a wonderful day feel free to share this around to anybody who might need to hear it or you can put it on your story and tag me at attitudes with Andy on Instagram and also on TikTok woo and if you are on YouTube I would be so grateful if you could please subscribe and if you're on Spotify or Apple please click follow as that really really does support the channel thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next week for another episode um, bye <laughs>